truth is, I thought it mattered. I thought that money mattered. But does it bollocks? Not compared to how people matter. Welcome, Mention and other fine folks, to the Sunday Dispatch of the Black Letter, where we contemplate thoughts worth thinking as we try to navigate through the upside-down, topsy-turvy world we find ourselves in, seeking greener pastures on the other side, hopefully coming out healthier, wealthier, and wiser. And in order to do that, we need to peek beyond the curtain, behind the smoke and mirrors, to see what's really going on, making sense of the nonsensical. Today we're going to look at uh, some uh, Bitcoin news, altcoin news as well, and to take a look at the markets, of course, it's Monday, so we'll see how they're starting off. Um, it looks like it's bullish. The futures uh, last night were green. We'll see how that has carried on into this morning. But first, the daily hodl, Kraken's Dan Held, says Bitcoin targeting $100,000 in 2021, outlines biggest threat to Bitcoin security. So I thought this was interesting, especially the threat uh, to security, which is not something I'd uh, heard of, uh, or at, I should say not something I had thought of, but uh, something that I had not been uh, totally on board with when I heard the news, and we'll get to that in a minute. If you look at options pricing in Biden, he's been priced into the market, and his impact has been priced in as a positive because he will spend more money. The money printer will go brewer, and the Democrats will likely go brewer at an even faster rate than Republicans, and they're both brewing at a rate we've never seen in U.S. history. Insane amounts of money. People are like, Bitcoin at 100000 Oh, man, that would be a $2 trillion market cap. I'm like, yeah, we just printed that much last week alone. So perhaps not the most erudite uh, speaker, but certainly it makes a good point. And as you know, I've been calling for Bitcoin 100,000 uh, US dollars by the end of next year. So it looks like there's other folks on board. And of course, the more that uh, believe that, uh, sort of the more likely it is to happen, right? We create our futures from the stories we tell very often. Now for the security news. Despite the bullish target, Held doesn't discount the possible threat of the paperization of Bitcoin where large corporations such as PayPal buy huge amounts of Bitcoin but do not allow the deposit or withdrawal of the crypto asset from the ecosystem, which eliminates the need to settle transactions on chain. And of course, that is a concern. As I've said, it's one of the reasons why I wouldn't use a PayPal for uh, using, buying and selling Bitcoin because it just stays within their domain. You can't even send it out to your own wallet. And of course, not your keys, not your coin obviously so this is a concern and of course now is an additional concern about the security of this but i don't think that's a, a real um definite concern i mean i'm more concerned about the fact that you can't move your own bitcoin around i don't think they will get much uh, transaction or paypal will with bitcoin if they continue down this road as folks become savvier about uh, this ability to hold your own coin so yeah but anyway still something to be aware of as the uh, price of bitcoin starts to increase We'll probably see more and more people um, buying Bitcoin through PayPal, but I think once they figure out they can't move it around, they will seek alternatives unless PayPal changes. Influential analyst says long-awaited XRP rally is a dead cat bounce. Of course, uh, Ripple's XRP has not been doing well for probably a good over a year now and continues to struggle. So this is interesting to, to learn. So of course, this is based on technical analysis primarily, but it could have some weight. A veteran commodities trader and analyst says XRP's recent rally will be short-lived. Peter Brandt, who is known in the crypto community for co correctly calling the start of Bitcoin's decline from 20,000 in early 2018, believes XRP has proven that it is one of the weakest assets in the crypto markets. It can bounce after 32 straight red days. The best trading practice is to be long the strongest number of a category. When long, short the weakest when short. Don't be long the weakest hoping upon hope to catch up. So... There you can see it's been bouncing up a little bit. This is one day XRP as compared to the value of Bitcoin has been declining. But if you compare it to the US dollar, it's probably been a little bit flatter. So will this pan out? Who knows? Uh, not sure. But you can see here some volume has been um, high volume on these red days especially. So that is a concern. I still continue to own a little bit of XRP. As you know, I some months ago, I sold most of my XRP and all, most of my altcoins and moved into Bitcoin, which is where I'm focusing on currently. But anyway, there you go, something to uh, be concerned about, or at least to watch if you are involved in XRP. And another reason why I think Bitcoin is going to be the uh, one ring to rule them all eventually. Uh, Bitcoin will probably be, well, and it continues to be, and it has been the granddaddy of them all, and will continue to see, I think, massive monetary inflows at the expense of altcoins. And I think once all this has settled down, um, perhaps over the next decade, We'll probably see Bitcoin and very few others remaining. 
from Bitcoin.com, every major bank will have exposure to Bitcoin, says renowned fund manager Bill Miller. Veteran investor Bill Miller says that all major banks, investment banks, and high net worth firms will eventually have some exposure to Bitcoin or something like it. He said that Bitcoin's staying power is getting better every day. And of course it is because, uh, you know, the stronger it gets, the more valuable it becomes, the more miners become interested and the hash rate increases, etc., etc. So it just becomes more and more secure. The more it's used, the more widely distributed it is. So certainly, yeah, it's bullish, that's for sure. But of course, he's cooking, uh, he's um, speaking his own cooking, of course. The Bitcoin story is very easy. It's a supply and demand. Bitcoin supply is growing at around 2.5% a year, and the demand is growing faster than that, and there's going to be a fixed number of them. This is not the first time the former portfolio manager of Leg Mason Value Trust praised Bitcoin. Back in December 2017, he revealed that his MVP1 fund had invested about 50% in Bitcoin. So obviously he's a he's a big Bitcoin bill, uh, bull, and I think that uh, uh, nevertheless, uh, his... his um, insights probably hold weight. He's probably investigated the space quite well. But uh, there you have it. Um, the more I'm involved in the Bitcoin community, or at least uh, um, researching it and uh, reading articles up about it, etc, etc, the more uh, bullish I become about Bitcoin personally. Okay, on to the general markets to see how they've opened up uh, this week. Okay, good Lord, look at that. S&P 500 up uh, almost 4.5%. NASDAQ up just 0.8%. And Dow Jones, 5.84%, then Russell 2000 up 7%. I've never seen numbers like this on an opening. Just astonishing. You can see it's broken all-time highs, I think. Uh, let's take a look at that. Yep, we're on all-time highs here for the uh, year. Uh, this is just incredible. This could be ending up being a parabolic uh, last gasp. Maybe it'll see the end of the uh, the year. We'll see how long it goes. Um, but up 17.3% uh, on the year. Um, just astonishing, really, when you consider that uh, the economy is just uh, devastated. Amazing how this works. I just uh, shake my head. But there you have it, folks. And just amazing numbers, amazing gains. Um, if it continues to go parabolic like this, it might not last until the end of the year. But we'll see. We'll keep our eyes posted. But this could be a, a huge parabolic run-up um, before the bubble pops. Who knows? But anyway, this is astonishing to me. Let's check out gold and silver, probably not doing as well as I would imagine. In fact, uh, gold and, and uh, well, probably silver as well, taking a bit of a breather after this run-up of the stock market. Obviously, more money going into the stocks than there is into precious metals. As you can see, it's uh, taking a bit of a, a dump down at around 1877 right now, and silver probably even more so. And there you go. Yeah, silver also taking a bit of a dump, but still holding the 24 handle. At $24, so we'll continue to see how that goes. It'll probably be under more pressure if the stock markets continue to uh, escalate over the next weeks and perhaps a few months uh, before I think the correction comes, at least I'm expecting it to, but uh, there you go. It's just astonishing what can happen um, with apparently no rhyme reason. So we have to play the cards we dealt with. Let's take a look at XRP. So here you can see XRP is fairly flat um, from the beginning of the year, a bit of ups and, ups and downs. And when we were looking at it since around October, I think it was around October there um, on this particular article. So you'll remember, I think from the beginning of October, late September, uh, it's been declining here against Bitcoin. But as you look at the decline against the US dollar, it's been fairly flat. So it's been holding its own against the US dollar. But I think, um, you know, probably XRP might, want, might be one of these vapor coins. I don't know for certain. It's still holding around 25 cents. But uh, anyway, there you have it, folks. Okay, on to cryptocurrencies generally. Okay, so continued bullishness here. Yeah, we're up uh, almost half a percent over the last 24 hours at $447 billion market cap, 6,022 coins for your purchase and pleasure. And Bitcoin dominance still at around 63.4%. And you can see on the top coins here, it's only uh, Bitcoin and Ethereum that are up. I don't count Tether because that's a stable coin. Um, so you can see this is still favoring Bitcoin and Ethereum, this rally so far. And oftentimes the altcoins will sort of join the party, Johnny come lately. So we'll see what happens. But there you have it, folks. Okay, on to the online oracle for today's most pressing question. So as we know, PayPal is a bit of a stickler about not being able to use your Bitcoin or move it, I should say. You can only buy and sell on their platform. You can't move it to an external wallet, which is asinine. But I thought I'd make an interesting question for the eight board economist, our trusty sidekick. Will PayPal allow you to move your own Bitcoin by the end of 2021? In other words, will they change their policy? And apparently the Magic 8 Ball doesn't think that outlook is very good. So there you have it, folks. 
Anyway, thanks so much for joining me. I hope your uh, week is off to a great start. I hope some jobs are coming back for you if you're unemployed and you're able to find something. Uh, in, the, in the meantime, I think uh, paying down debt, squirreling away some savings is probably a good idea until we get uh, some great opportunities to invest. I'm uh, dipping my toes into the stock market a little bit, but with tight stops just in case, uh, because I am expecting a correction at some point, but who knows? I mean, this parabolic uh, rally this uh, today is just astonishing. Uh, and of course, you know, the market can remain irrational longer than we can remain solvent. So I started to use tighter stops. There you go. Thanks so much for joining me, folks. I uh, hope you're uh, doing well. Remember, above all else, dumb Spiro Sparrow.